Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lourdes and the name of this channel is Knitting Season. Uh, you can find links below to all the projects that I mentioned and also a link to my Ravelry profile where you can follow me if you want. Currently I don't have an Instagram but I want to make one soon. So as soon as I make one, I'll be sure to link it down below for you guys. I apologize in advance for any uh, noise that you can hear. I just realized that one of my neighbors must be having some construction then at their house. So there's a little bit of a hammering going on. Today I have a few things to talk about, a few things to show you. I purchased some yarn for some upcoming projects and uh, it's nothing too exciting but I thought I might be able to show it to you today. I also have uh, one finished object that I showed you previously and I also have two works in progress and I want to talk about them. So uh, first things first, this is my finished uh, Joyce um, shirt by Barocco. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. It's very simple. It has these cables that connect this way and it's knit um, in the round for this part and then you knit um, you uh, make this part uh, separate flat and then you seam it together. I think I did a pretty good job doing the seamings on this. Uh, compared to some of my past projects. This is very comfortable. I really like the fit. I am very happy with the choice of cast on that I used. It's not too wide. Um, and I think it provides some structure because this is made in some um, cotton acrylic blend. So I thought just using a regular um, long tail cast on would be appropriate. So the neck wouldn't stretch because from experience that happens with cotton a lot. Um, so yeah, the yarn that I use for this is Lion Brand's Summer Kiss in the color Mango. This uh, line apparently has been discontinued. It has this little um, flex to the yarn and the yarn has like a chain construction. It's very easy to work with, it doesn't split and yeah, I'm very happy with the color and everything. Um, so yeah, moving on to a finished object. I have my Cozy Classic Light by Jessie Mae. The last time that I showed you this, I had an woven in the ends and I had some issues with the neckband. I was able to fish, uh, do a quick fix on the neckband by using some um, elastic. I don't know if I did a, a good job or not. You can kind of see here, like a little bit here, like a little bit here. But otherwise, I think it's fine. Um, for this, I use Lion Brand Away Big Organic in the color light pink i believe this was very easy to make if i were to make this again i would just use instead of this um, cast on i would just use a long tail one like i did here just to avoid uh, the problem that i have with the neckband uh, maybe i'll put it on to show you guys how it looks oh. so this is what the sweater looks like the sleeves came out a tiny little bit shorter than I would have liked, um, but they're fine, as you can see. Um, I used the size 4 needle for the ribbing, and then for the body I used the size 5. This, those are US sizes. Um, it is cropped, so I would use this, I guess you can't see it well. Um, it is cropped. And so I would use this with like a long waisted pants. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. 
for the neck band. I do regret that I didn't have a smaller needle to do the ribbing for the cuff and the bottom also because the set that I have only goes down to the size three, uh, size four. Um, so any pattern, the, um, the problem that I run into is that any pattern that asks for the size smaller, um, I just have to nip with sometimes even the same size that I have for the body. And so I do have plans to purchase smaller size to be able to also to make socks and stuff but it's not uh, something that i plan to do until next year so any patterns that ask for smaller needles i just have to wing it <laughs> um but i think it, uh, the result was fine with this so yeah uh, let me take this off and continue talking about the rest of the things Okay, so the next uh, thing that I'm going to show you is one of my two works in progress. And this is a pattern from Knit Picks, and it's called the Santa Pillow. Um, this is a paid pattern, I believe, if I remember correctly. And the designer is Kathy Lewinsky. So, this is a so this is supposed to be a 12, uh, 20 by 20 pillow. And as you can see, this is pretty much done. I didn't uh, gauge swatch for this because I this is my first color work pattern, so I had no idea how to uh, swatch in color work. And I was, I was kind of winging it. But it ended up being okay. I think um, I did... Uh, measure this and so far it seems that I am tracking for the correct size and I do have already a pillow at home that I mean to repurpose to do this so you can see I used um, some Lily sugar and cream cotton uh, because that's what I had and it was the worst of weight so I, I figured why not but um, this ends up actually being kind of heavy because of the cotton, um, and it's okay. I used exactly two balls of the white one and two and a half of the yellow, uh, of the red one so far. And the thing is that this is almost finished. I have, I think, two rounds left to finish here. Um, but I ran out of the, the white yarn. So this is on hold for now until I get the white yarn maybe this week and then I can finish this. And then after I do this, I'll have to, um, you're supposed to do the eyes. I could have done it in color work, but I didn't want to complicate things because there's this white, so I was working with three colors. And since this was my first time doing something like this, I didn't want to uh, have to figure out how to do the, the black. But after I have almost finished this, I think that it would have been fine. It wouldn't have been too difficult. Should this be the thumbnail? Um, so yeah, after you do this, you just um, seam it at the bottom and then put the pillow on and seam it on top. So yeah, it was definitely easier than I thought, to be honest. It's not, now that I've done this, I feel confident that I could do any kind of color work. It wasn't perfect, obviously, like I have some, uh, a lot of puckering, especially like this area. Um, but I'm hoping that just, you know, with actually putting the pillow inside, it would sort of like stretch that, occupying the space underneath, and then it would be okay. If you want to see my, um, what do you call this? I always see people showing the inside. That's what the inside looks like. Um. I think I did okay picking up the floats. I didn't stretch too much about it. Like, 
And this part, like I barely did it. Um, I didn't worry about that too much. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. And I feel uh, somewhat confident that I could tackle any other color work projects soon. So yeah, oh, I should mention that the um, colors that I use are just the red for sugar and cream, the ecru for the face, and then the white for the beard. So yeah. Okay, so the next work in, work in progress is the first time that I have ever like, got kind of dark right? Um It's the first time It's the first time that I have used the crochet hook was definitely a learning curve I wasn't expecting it to be as difficult as it was actually doing it so the name of this pattern is called a Sanes seal top or Sanes seal top and it's by Kasania Nadion I believe Nadion you see her last name. She's the designer for Life in Co is Cozy. And this is the yarn that I've used. Sheepies? Sheepies? Sheep cheese. Uh, stone wash. This is, I believe, it's cotton acrylic. Yeah. 78% cotton, 22% acrylic. And um, this is how much I have so far. This is a top knit, uh, top down. And it has these, um, she calls them nopes in the pattern. Uh, I guess they're like bobbles. Sometimes people call them bobbles. And um, I believe I'm pretty much done with the yoke. And then just have to do the rest of the pattern. Um, this color of the yarn is called Lilac Quartz. And um, the needle size that I'm using is the, what, what size, what size is it? US5. I have to probably change cable soon. So uh, the way you do this is that you just knit it around and you use the crochet hook to make the notes. And she has a particular way of, um, indicating how to make the notes which is you use a crochet and then you anchor them to make them like not flush with the the fabric but they're kind of like popping outside i have had some success with the notes like the latest ones i've done i think they look they look pretty cool but some of the others are kind of like falling apart i think that's uh probably my fault it's a combination of you know having a very uh, little experience using the crochet hook and also the way that I think that I hold the yarn like you can see some of these like are lifting like this um, and then some of them look fine like this so I don't know sometimes I look at this as I'm making and I'm like oh I don't like this it looks kind of I don't know. I don't like it. And then sometimes I'll look at it and it looks cool. So I am feeling very... I'm having conflicted feelings about this. So I don't know if I should finish it or if I should just frog it. Or I should um, give it another chance. Like just redo it and try to... Because I can see from from making this, for example, if you look at this room, this one's like falling apart. But you can see as I as I go, it's like this one, the latest one that I made, it looks really good compared to like the first one that's like a mess. 
and I don't know where my confidence came that I just kept making them <laughs> and they don't look good like I don't know I don't know if you can fix them like try to make them more compact like they're not falling apart if I went over with like the crochet hook or something I don't know what do you guys think should I start over should I just try to fix them some of them I completely forgot to anchor and you can tell you can definitely tell the difference because like these ones here the ones that are I'm popping out are more flush with the fabric than this ones so I don't want to be a quitter but I also don't want to keep knitting something that I'm not like I find myself not being like super excited to work on this because I don't like it as much as I thought I would um yeah so this was a pattern that I saw the podcaster from uh, I believe free or ship sheep forgot her name I really like her podcast and she was talking about this so I thought I would give it a try and she made it look so beautiful and there's nothing wrong with the pattern it's very clear um, it has both charted and the written instructions. Everything's very clear. Um, I just, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to think about it for a little bit. If you guys want to help me out, then leave me a comment below. Tell me what I should do. So yeah, oh, I should, I should turn on the light. Okay. <laughs> Turn out, turn on some lights, and uh, I think this is the best that it's gonna get right now. So I wanted to show you some uh, quick things that I purchased. Um, the first is some yarn for another pillow, another Christmas pillow. This one's called uh, Vintage Christmas Truck. This is a paid pattern by Justina Schrock. Schrock. Um, I'm not sure how you might say her last name, uh, but I'll definitely link it down below. And this is just some Bernay um, chunky, softy chunky yarn. So I bought the white, and I also bought some red and some green. For this pattern, you just made it around, I believe. Oh, you just need a long panel that's white and then you after you finish that then you go over I think it's called duplicate st stitch this is my first time doing duplicate uh, duplicate stitch and then you stitch the design of the truck on top so that's why there's much more um, white yarn than the other colors I had to purchase this yarn that was suggested in the pattern from Love, Love Crafts, and it, I think it came from the UK, UK, pretty sure. Because I couldn't find this in the color in the red colors for a good price. Um, I thought it was like a little too expensive for what I wanted to pay, especially like even in the Bernay website, like the Your Inspirations website, it was a little more expensive that I wanted to pay for. So I bought that from Love Crafts, a really good for a really good price. And the other yarn that I bought is is from Nitix. And this is for a long-term project that I want to do after I do a couple of things. I thought I would get ahead of it. And this is just um some other Bravo. Some other Brava sport, sport weight yarn. And this is just white and red. And this is for a, another Christmas pattern from Knit Picks that is called. Sorry, I'm looking at my iPad. Hold on. This is for another Knit Picks pattern that's called Snowy Cushions. So it's a color work uh, pattern knit in the round with like poinsettias, I believe. But it's just uh, red and and the white color. So yeah, that's my uh, small haul. Um, 
I'm not sure I'll be able to uh, have started that before my next video, but I hope that I will. And I'll be able to show you guys some of my progress. Um, I think that's all that I have for the video today. I hope that if you enjoyed watching this, um, you will subscribe and uh, maybe give my video a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. Um, leave me a comment uh, if you want and follow me on Ravelry. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you in my next video. Bye.